Do you like bugs? I don't hate the creatures. They just make me feel uncomfortable. As long as they aren't in my hair, on my face, in my room, or near me at all, I don't mind if they exist. Some bugs are easy to handle, like little flies or mosquitoes, tiny little things that are annoying but can be dealt with easily. But then, there are bigger creepy crawlies, such as spiders, roaches, hornets, or bees. These are the kind of things you are often afraid of, the things that make your skin prickle, the creatures that you can imagine crawling on your face while you sleep. I'm about to tell you a story that happened not so long ago that involved a certain crawly thing that was much worse than any normal bug. I was 12 years old when this happened, and I wasn't weird or strange in any unnatural way. A perfectly normal kid. I never really liked bugs but chose to ignore the ones that weren't major problems, and that worked out fine. Well, one day I was wandering around the house in search of something to do, when in a kitchen corner, right below the door, I spotted a black spider. It wasn't one of those long-legged spiders, but a small, creepy black spider with pointy legs and eyes I couldn't see because of how small and beady they were. I shuddered. The spider just sat on a bit of web, silent and unmoving, like spiders are. But I got a chill. I felt like it was… was watching me. I called for my mom and asked if she could take the spider outside, and she said she would. She got a glass and a piece of paper, scooping the spider up in the glass and making sure it didn't crawl out with the paper. Standing up with the trapped spider, my mom left to shake the creature outside. Suddenly, the chill went away, and I felt safe. Why was I so shaken up about a spider? I sighed in relief and went about my day. The next day, I was reading on the couch downstairs, waiting for my dad to get home from work so we could play a game, when I decided to get up for some water. I set my book on the couch, got up, headed for the kitchen, but suddenly I got that same chill. Somehow my eyes moved to the same corner below the door, and it felt like I knew something was there. And I was right. I glanced down at that corner, not sure what I expected to see. And there, sitting silently just like the last one, was another creepy black spider. I just stood there for a while, staring at the corner, staring at that black spider, and shivering, until my mom came into the kitchen. She asked what I was doing, and I pulled myself out of that strange trance. I turned to her, my eyes lifting from the spider, and I told her there was another one. My mom said it was just a coincidence, and she took the spider outside like she'd done the previous day. I just nodded and glanced at the corner again. When I woke up, I saw a note from my mom saying she and my dad had gone somewhere important and would be back later. I didn't mind being alone, so I watched some videos and worked on homework until around 6 p.m. After a while, I decided to make some food so I walked to the kitchen again. I remembered that creepy spider, and for some reason I checked the corner once more. What I saw scared me, making me shiver and shake my head in disbelief. There, in that very same corner, looking like it hadn't moved at all, sat the black, shiny spider, silent and still, watching me. Or at least, I thought it was watching me. I couldn't believe that spider was there again after I was sure my mom had taken it outside. Backing away, I shook my head, eyes never leaving that ugly creature. Suddenly, it moved. I froze. It stopped. It moved again. It inched off that piece of web, dropping to the kitchen floor. My eyes widened, but I didn't move. I just couldn't move, just shaking and shivering and staying rooted to the spot. The spider crawled towards me, stopping about halfway. Then, 
The spider began to rise, sitting on only its two back legs, its other leg stretched upwards, and before my eyes, it grew. The spider grew in size larger and larger, but it wasn't a spider anymore. Once it had finally stopped growing, the creature that stood before me was a man. But not just a man, a strange man. He was tall, very, very tall, and pale as paper. His long arms hung from his sides, his long legs keeping him firmly in place. He had two long, black, creepy, spider-like legs coming from his back, behind his head, and another two behind his human legs. The worst, most terrifying part was his face. His eyes were the blackest eyes I'd ever seen, darker than the night sky. And instead of two, there were eight. The man's grin was wide and unnatural, stretching wider than any grin could go. And he grinned like he knew. He knew I was scared. I screamed, finally able to move, grabbing the nearest object, a chair. I swung it, ready to fight this spider-like being. Suddenly, he went on all fours, leaping at me with his mouth open, showing his fangs. I ran as fast as possible, smashing a window and leaping out. I ran all the way to my friend's house, not daring to look back. My friend asked me what was wrong. And I just shook my head, looking to see if the man had followed me. I didn't see him, so I burst into tears and hugged her. I couldn't tell my friend what was wrong, so we just sat together and watched a movie while I calmed down. We were just finishing a movie, the popcorn almost gone, when my friend pointed to a corner and said, Hey, look! That's a creepy spider. I looked, and there, in the corner, was a creepy, shiny, small, black spider. <laughs>